All right, it's time again to talk about batteries. Uh, this time around, we're gonna be talking about these two modules right here. These are 14 as they come with us like this, already taken apart uh, out of the case of whatever they come from. Um, there's two variants. So we'll talk about one first. The ones that we seem to have the most is this one right here. And this is uh, a module based on the LG HB1 cell. And this is a very particular and interesting cell for me because I, in the early days when I started getting into batteries, I was able to get uh, a whole pallet of brand new HG, HB2s. They were 1500 milliamp hour, so they're kind of small, but they can do quite a bit. As I remember, they did 35, but someone corrected me, and I think they can do 20 or 25 amps continuous, right? Um, so these are very, very powerful cells. Uh, there are, they're a little bit older in design now and today, right? There are ones that can do like 3,000 3, milliamp hours, and they can do, yeah, like 30 amps or whatever. So, so these are, you know, uh, a few years ago, these were the top of the top, the top of the line when it came to power cells. So this is a power module. It's a um, 14S, right? So 48 volts if you're uh, wanting to do um, storage, right? If you want to use these to store energy and stuff. But these would kind of be a shame to be using for storage, really, because they can put out so much power. Um, but on the e-bike world, for example, a 14S battery is considered a 52 battery. 52 is the nominal voltage of this. It goes up to like 56 or something fully charged. And it's four cells in parallel, right? So it can do about 80 amps continuous. That's what the rating on these battery pack was originally, right? Uh, it came with its own proprietary BMS, but we couldn't use it, so we had to take it off. Uh, and we couldn't sell it in the case that it came in. So uh, a lot of times we get batteries like that that we can't sell. So these are just modules. And uh, these are great because they're about the same size of an e-bike pack. Let me compare it to a very common e-bike pack that we have. This is... Uh, uh, I think this is 48 volts, so this is 13S. So this one will do 11 amp hours. This one is only six amp hours, right? So about the same size, but about twice the capacity uh, in, in energy storage, right? Uh, 11, almost 12 amp hours, where this is six amp hours. But this one can output about close to 80 amps continuous, where this one could probably do like 20 or 25, right? So that's that's the, the difference here. E-bike packs are, you know, for to go fat to go far, um, or to go fast. And this would be the one to go fast. Now, of course, you could just put another one, right? And all of a sudden, now you got the same amount of energy as that other one, but now you got. 160 amps uh, of power coming out of that if you parallel those, right? So you can make a very, very powerful battery pack with these. And that's why these are for that. Maybe for a go-kart or a race car, if you wanted to buy a bunch of these and parallel them and parallel them, series them, you could do that. So here's the thing. These already have the BMS wires right here, right? And it's got this little connector. All you'd have to do is just uh, install it in your own connector. So let's say you want to run these two in series, right? So that would be 14S, that'd be 28S. And these wires could just go into your BMS. Uh, you could do that. You could add another one. You could build a 400, <laughs> a 400 uh, volt uh, battery pack using these. And then here are all the, you know, just make like a, a breakout board for your BMS cables. And they're just ready to go. I mean, all the hard work is done for you here. It's got all these really high quality interconnects in here with really tough. Uh, I mean, these have to be able to withstand about 80 amp continuous, right? So, so this is a very cool battery pack. This one weighs about six pounds. Uh, and then we have the other version over here that weighs about seven pounds, a little bit more. I don't really know why, but I think these are different cells. I 
this the pack does not sell does not say and you, you absolutely cannot see them because they're completely covered in here but this one uh you can only see the one side in here and the cells seem to be a, a bit different no i guess they're the same cells because they're those blue those green ones so those green ones that's the the color that i that i got uh originally on the hb2s these are gray uh and so maybe these are the original version and these are the later version of the hb2 cell um this pack is a bit different in that it's a bit bigger because it's got this extra piece of plastic which by the way you can take off um and then it's got this bms board in here and so this is the same thing you still have the access to all of the of the uh balance leads of the battery here so if you wanted to do your own bms it's the same thing and this one's a little bit easier because you got the cable already here and by the way these have their connectors so let's say that you wanted to work on this uh and you want to change this this connector and so you can disconnect this and complete harness in here and then you can work on this without having a you know have the danger of like sparking things and cutting and shorting out the battery or whatever right and then you could just come back and then you could just uh, do the connectors here. This is, I think, it's a pretty cool design. I really like these batteries. These are very cool. I wish we, we had more. Um, hopefully we're getting more. You know, never, never say never, right? Uh, in the future, you don't know what the future holds for us. But this one right here, you would have to cut these little cables and put like a little ring terminal and stuff. So it's a little bit more work, but it's the same thing. This pack, it's about the same size. It's the same configuration. It's got a little bit different. This one has a built-in shunt in here that you could use, incorporate into your design if you wanted to. This one's a bit more square. This one lays flat, for example, on this side, and I'm sure on this other side. In fact, let's take this thing apart. I wanna take this thing apart. All right, so I've uh, taken the screws off the camera because that's just boring stuff, screws. But you got all these uh, board in here. And it's got all the right length. So even if you were to make another board in here, design your own board, uh, you could just come back and then desolder these or cut these and then, you know, some of the work is already done for you. You already have the, the little balance leads here. Um, would that be easier than fix, like, of trying to figure out this BMS. I don't know, depends who you are, right? If you know how to do uh, coding and sniffing messages and all that stuff, that's probably easier to you figure this already out and it's already made. But for someone like me or a lot of you guys watching this video, it's probably easier just to make our own board and put a third party uh, BMS in here to be able to use this, uh, this battery pack. So then the rest of the stuff is just this plastic right and then now you have a much smaller battery pack that is very similar to this one over here and if this one has a cover and these are the little cables that are for uh the um it's got sensors right it's got uh thermistors so temperature sensors and that went hardwire into the the bms board there so i had to take cut it off Here's another one. So it's got three of them. I'm just gonna put those in here so they don't get in the way. Let's take this just to see what's on the other side of that. Uh, I mean, we kind of know it's probably gonna look exactly the same as the opposite side, right? It's just... Uh, go oh yeah there we go so this has a very uh familiar look this is almost like what the power tools look like and they're usually like five cells or ten cells 5s right or sometimes they go higher sometimes yeah there's like 52 volt power tools that's that's almost like the same type of um bus bars that they use right this this these plates that are nickel plated or whatever and then they're welded into the cells there so that is because that's uh the power tools are usually like very high current high power output 
and they usually use cells sort of like this. So this is very reminiscent of that, but this is in a big pack, big battery pack that can do 52 volts, uh, nominal, right, 14S. You can use it for any of the, um, then you can use it for any of the 48 volt inverter for off-grid uh, applications and all of that stuff. Oh my God, did I put this backwards? All right, so there you go. Two very similar packs, the same configuration, probably the same cells or very similar, but they're physically, they're a bit different, right? So I am going to uh, mark these are, this is uh, version A, right? Or type A, and this is type B. So when you're uh, trying to purchase these, uh, if you like this configuration better, then this is an A and this is a B. We still don't know how many we have of each, but uh, we will know eventually, when you see this video, the, the stock numbers will be accurate there, right? Uh, it's a small load. We don't have a ton of these. We have, you know, I don't know, 100, under 200 of them or something. So probably 100 of each. Uh, that's probably where we're at. Hopefully, I don't know, maybe not. Maybe more of these, maybe more of that. But at this point, I don't know. Once my we process them, then we'll be able to tell. So there you go. 48 volts or 52, depending on your usage. If you want to use them for a high power e-bike, there you go. 52, capable of like 80 amps, continues. It's a good, it's a good deal. All right, guys, we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. All right, so if you're working on a 48 volt uh, power wall backup battery system or an e-bike or something that requires like four kilowatt, <laughs> that is very light and requires four kilowatt, this is probably the, the perfect pack for you, right? So there you go. They're going to be at jack35.com. Thank you for watching.